there, my name's Andrew Adams from Parker Adams Boat Sales. We're here today on the beautiful Isle of Wight and I have behind me an equally beautiful Nimbus 35 Nova. Now this boat is absolutely in breathtaking condition and I'm really excited to bring you this boat. But first of all, I just want to talk a little bit more about the Isle of Wight. We're going to have a team of people that we're going to be working with at Parker Adams to sell boats over here on the Isle of Wight. So if you're coming across from the mainland, we'll still be able to offer that service where we'll take you across probably on our Axa Par to the island. But if you want to view the boat and you're based on the island at the moment, then you can just meet the team down here and go straight on board this beautiful boat. So we'll be putting an announcement out shortly about that. Um, but back to this boat. So this boat is a 2005 boat. It was launched in 2006. The contracts were signed in January 2006. Uh, and it's had a few owners, but it is beautifully maintained. The existing owners have owned the boat since 2016. So they've had the boat for just over six years. Uh, and in that time, the boat has wanted for nothing. When you step on board the boat, I challenge anybody to find a 2005 boat that is in better condition. And I'm really, really excited to, um, to bring you the, this boat. So what we're going to do is walk down towards the boat. Um, as always, start off on the bathing platform and just talk a bit about the access here. But one of the things that I really love about the Nimbuses is their build quality, attention to detail, and the fact that when you step on board them, you can tell that you're on an incredibly high quality product. So let's start off on the bathing platform. Um, the teak and woodwork on Nimbuses is always exceptional and the woodwork on this boat is really really thick teak. You can see here that it's all been treated, you've probably got a Semco product over the top of it um, but the actual grain on the teak is still very very thick so if you wanted to sand that down at one point and bring it back to a totally natural teak colour you could do. Lots and lots of depth there. There's lots of design flair on this boat, and actually I think this is one of the prettiest Nimbuses out there. Um, Nimbuses can sometimes look quite angular in their design, but actually I think this is a really, really stylish boat. In the next few weeks we'll be taking this boat out and doing drone videos, and there'll be a video coming live of that, but we'll put here just how the boat looks from the side view, and I think she looks a fantastic boat, and a very beamy boat as well. When you get on board you'll notice how much width you have on the boat. Let's start off at the stern. So you've got fender baskets here, you've got this lovely stainless steel um, detailing around them, um, the space for two fenders on each side. But Nimbus have got quite a nice design on the back where they've got a gate design where this can be closed off to close in the cockpit space. It's a windy day here, I'm being attacked by a flag. Let's try and push that into there. There we go. That'll come back out. There we go. Um, so Nimbus have got this really nice design where you've got this gate. So these can all be taken out or they can be closed in, which is nice if you've got children or dogs because you can enclose that back area there. But everything is chunky. It's brilliant quality and it's all presented in beautiful condition. Um, you've got a, a shower on the back here. So you've got a hot and, hot and cold running water on the back. And as you walk around this side, if we come around to this side here, what I'm going to do actually is I'm just going to take the camera for a second and just walk down the side of the boat. Another thing I really like is the fact that there is teak decking all the way down the side. So it has a real yacht feel in terms of walking the way forwards. You've got an anchor which is nestled, tucked right under there. Um, bowsprit, because of course this is a Scandinavian built boat and in the Scandinavian countries they quite like to do some bow boarding as well as stern boarding. So it beautifully set up here and just all presented as you can see. This boat's just immaculate. I really, really enjoying bringing you this boat as we walk back down. In terms of the side access, you can see the side access is very, very good. You've got handholds all the way around, um, and the owner's actually got some LED lighting that I can just, I've just didn't seen that before. It's just nestling up under there, so there's some blue LED lighting under there, which ties in, I think, quite nicely with the name of this boat, which is, of course, Blue Angel. Right, so let's step on board. I closed this gate up, but I will just open that up now and just swing it open and then step into what is a really, really nice size cockpit space. Now, the owner has chosen to put a um, sort of, I guess, some really nice high quality garden furniture in here. So you've got a teak table, two chairs, and you've got a storage box here. Of course, if you wanted to have a different arrangement, you could do. And you've also got two built in steps. So if you just have a look down here, we've got two steps uh, which are at the back. Now, I just love the fact that these are even on just little gas, gas struts on there. So there's a gas strut that holds that in place. Maybe a little bit of oil needed, but they're really nice because they can be tucked away, but you've still got lots of space. Woodwork, as you'd expect on Nimbus, is all lots and lots of wood, really thick, good quality teak. Uh, Life-saving equipment here, so you've got a Life Boy. All of your battery isolators are easy to get to. Your shore power is nicely presented there. And I think everything about a Nimbus is very, very practical, and I really like that. If you think about where things should be, where you'd expect them to be, on a Nimbus, they're typically there. 
There's a few nice touches that the owner has added as well. So you've got down here an outside power socket. So if in the evening you wanted to, let's say, sit in the outside space and watch television or plug some music in, then you could do that. Um, you've got speakers here, your fuel filler caps here, and again, another mirror from the other side. Space to have your boat hook just nestled all typed in there. And Nimbus is just think about everything, and I really respect that with the brand. So let's carry on inside the boat. I'll come back to the engine access a bit later. But in terms of the cockpit space, uh, sorry, the saloon space, the saloon space in here is really, really nice. It's very light and airy. You've got an electrically operating win um, sunroof in front of me, and then this window space all around gives you this really good vista. And when you're handling the boat to sit here, you can see absolutely everything. So you've got your stern view, and everything is really nice and easy to hand. Um, the engine-wise, just talk a little bit about the engines. They're D4260s, so 260 horsepower each. Um, they're EDC controlled, so you've got electronic controls. You've got a bow thruster on this boat. And then the electronic-wise, um, it had an updated um, Simrad autopilot, uh, Raymarine plotter, Simrad VHF. They're all linked together as well, so when you're out at sea, if you put, an auto, if you put a route in, then you can set the Simrad to actually follow that track. Uh, which is a nice feature if you're doing long distance cruising. In fact, talking about long distance cruising, I know they do that because I was actually moored up behind this boat about three years ago in Dartmouth and I met the couple who owned it back then. So it's funny, when I stepped on board the boat, I remembered it, that um, it was just a beautifully presented boat and I remember noticing it at the time. It's nice to now, now have the opportunity to broker it. Um, Nimbus's the interior fabric is actually quite typical of Nimbus here. They use an, a sumbrella material, which is a dark blue material, uh, which is hard wearing. And you can see, I'd imagine that's original, but there's no marks, there's no rips, there's no tears. It's all just presented absolutely beautifully. In terms of the galley area, the galley area is small but functional. If we lift this up here, you have a two burner um, gas hob. You've got an electrical power point here, so if you want to put a toaster or a kettle up onto the top here, you can do. And then I love the little touches, like if you open this up here, you've got the Nimbus um, glassware, which is all in its own little cases. Um, and then there's cutouts for cutlery and crockery um, in these drawers, so you can see some essentials in there. Hobnobs, everyone's got, got to have some hobnobs on board a boat. And then little cutouts there for cups, saucers, etc. There's a fridge just under here, so that's um, an isotherm fridge. I'm not sure if that's been updated over the years. I'd be surprised if that's original, but again, it's absolutely pristine and immaculate. The boat's got over carpets down at the moment, but if you lift the over carpets up, you can see that you've got not only a little non-vibration layer under there, that gives you an idea of how attention to detail the owners are, um, but also you can see this beautiful thick teak. So if you didn't want to have the carpets on here, you could just have um, the, the teak effect, which would make this boat feel very, very yachty. So I'm going to take the camera again, so I'm just going to head down below. The accommodation on this boat is a two-cabin layout. So if we go down into here, you can see this is currently set up as a, a double bed, but you have a table down here, so you can set this up as a separate dining area as well. So you've got two distinct dining areas on the boat. Um, you've got wardrobe space with these lovely louver doors all the way down. The heads compartment is in here. Should have turned the light on first. Where's the light switch? There we go. Heads compartment is just there. It's electric flush toilet. Um, there's a little carpet that's been made for the, the heads down there. And this is, again, it's all just absolutely pristine. The boat's fitted with heating. You can see a heating outlet just down there in the heads. The original Nimbus documentation pack. And then this is the aft cabin. So in the aft cabin, you have a seat. And then you have a very, very large double bed in there. Now that really is a big, big bed. And then you've got lights and more space in here. Teak and holly floor throughout, which is presented again absolutely beautifully. There's a theme appearing here. I'm going to say beautiful a lot because I think this boat is just absolutely immaculate. Um, head, head height here is good. So generous head height. You've got a hatch here, so you can lift up that hatch and that lets a lot more light in. And I like the forward-facing window. That's quite unusual as well. Uh, you can see forward there to the bow. And again, you can see that lovely teak on there as well. So let's go back upstairs. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a little seat down just to show you space-wise. So if we sit here, I reckon you'd get probably four people around there, four people. Um, the helms and seat spins around as well, so then someone else could sit there. But of an evening, you could quite comfortably lounge down here. You've got a really nice bolstered seat there. So I think this boat just has a really lovely, homely feel. Now, in order to get the engine bay hatch up, there's a little bit of a process that needs to be done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the film now, and I'm going to go back to just remove that table at the back, 
lift the engine hatch and show you an engine bay that I think you could quite literally eat your dinner from. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so as you can see now, what I've done is clear this back, and you can see just how much space there is at the back here. Have a little party and a dance down here, actually. Um, and the system, to, in order to get the engine bay hatch up, is just lift those two seats into their upright position, um, undo the catches, make sure that the back, get back gate is closed. And if I pass the camera back, press the lift, on, off, and then just press up. And if we can have a look down now, you can see electrically operating hatch, opening up the engine bay. Another feature I should have said this boat's got, I haven't said it as yet, is this boat's got a generator. So it's got a touch, uh, touch control generator just here at the helm position. Um, I think it's a four kilowatt generator, but I will confirm that. But it's brilliant because it gives this boat the ability just to top up those batteries um, for long distance cruising. And whilst talking about the batteries, this boat's actually got four domestic batteries. So it's got one starboard uh, engine battery, one port engine battery, and then four domestic. So that coupled with the generator just gives an amazing amount of power for long distance cruising and sitting on anchorages. I'll stop the engine bay hatch there. Quite often I have to, um, it doesn't go quite high enough, but you can see this one's got tons and tons of height on it. And if I now just step down into the engine bay, you can see I really like the fact that these have got um, engine spares, polished equipment, all down here in these boxes, which are tied in with these Nimbus straps. And then nestling behind are two Volvo Penta D4 260 engines. Your generator is what's called a suitcase generator, and that's just down there, and that's next door to the calorifier. And then there's a C fire fire extinguisher system as well. The engine bay is absolutely immaculate. Your phone, your, you don't say phone charger, it's a very big phone charger. Your battery charger is just nestled down there in the corner as well. So you can see it is, it is excellent access there to do all the, the engineering and maintenance on the boat. So let's come back up again. Right, let's go and have a sit down. I'll do my final little chat to camera. So as you can probably tell by how enthusiastic I've been about this boat, um, it's a real pleasure to bring you this boat. Um, as 2005 model year six boats go, I think it is the best that I've seen. Um, it is absolutely immaculate. Um, I would urge anybody to come and have a look at this boat. So whether Nimbus has a huge following, the Nimbus Owners Club, the owners are members of that, um, lots of people, lots of rallies that get organized. But if you've never seen a Nimbus before, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've opened your eyes to what Nimbuses can offer. What you get is just high quality Scandinavian build quality, lots of attention to detail and really a very beautiful boat. Any questions please do contact us here at Parker Adams. Um, this walkthrough tour has been great to bring it to you. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have please like and subscribe to the channel and I look forward to bringing you the next video very soon. Thanks as always for watching.